Welcome to 2022. Hey, if you're an agent watching this video and you'd like to sell more annuities this year, stay tuned because today I've got Tim Luby, our top life and annuity RVP, and we're gonna be discussing growth products for the new year. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Pearson, Vice President of Life and Annuities, and as I just said, I've got Tim Luby here with me. And it is the new year. This is the second week we're recording this video in the second week of January. And today we wanted to spend some time talking about growth products, right? Accumulation of uh, annuities uh, in general and in specific FIAs that can help consumers grow their assets. Right, Tim? Yep, that's right. So so, so talk to me a little bit. I mean, um, first, before we dive into maybe specific products or specific nuances, uh, give the viewers a little bit of a better understanding about, you know, when we're recommending products, how do we delineate uh, from, for example, income-oriented products and growth-oriented products? Right. Well, the products kind of do that for us to some degree. You know, the most indexed annuities, fixed indexed annuities are either very accumulation-oriented or income-oriented. Okay. And not too many do both. You know, they're typically really strong in one or the other. There are some that do both, but... When we go out to look for the solution for clients, we try to identify the best solution for what right. they're trying to do. And so very rarely is one that's really good for this, it's gonna be good for that too. All right. So to give me an idea, I mean, um, you talk to agents about their cases every day. What percentage of cases do you think, you know, out of a hundred cases you're working on for agents and quoting, what percentage uh, tend to fall into that growth category? And it's a pretty significant percentage. Um, I, I'd say half. You know, really? It's, it's cl very close to half. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. income's high, but growth still is important. You know, I mean, annuities is designed to build up and distribute retirement income. So mm -hmm. everybody probably ends up at the income stage at some point, mm -hmm. but many people need to be saving for it too, though. Okay. And then there are other people that don't need to spend it all. And so all they right. may be in an accumulation mode, even though they do, they are of retirement age. All right. So what's, so what's hot, right? So let's dive right in here. Um, what are the hot products? What's, what's hot in that space? Right. So uh, conceptually, kind of what's hot for uh, growth annuities right now are um, crediting strategies that are different. Okay. There's some new ones out there, um, you know, indexes that are uncapped. You know, a few years ago, caps were all the rage, you know, mm -hmm. very common. Um, and the S&P was very common. Today, uh, many of the indexes are much more exotic than that. Many different names from money managers that you would recognize and a lot less cap strategies, a lot more that have margins or participation rates an uncapped strategy. Okay. So that, that's kind of what's driving a lot of it right now. So when you say uncapped, I mean, what a, you know, I think a, a, a vital nuance that agents need to adopt when they're dealing with their clients is setting appropriate expectations, right? So if an agent, I mean, what kind of returns can an agent be talking to their clients within this growth space that's, that's reasonable, that is attainable? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good way to put it. Um, you know, the with, with the cap strategy, if you've got a three or four percent cap, you're only going to make three or four. Right. Doesn't matter if the index does three or four or thirty, you're going to make three or four on a cap strategy. With a participation rate, for example, even if it was only a fifty percent participation rate, if the index does five, you'd make two and a half. But if mm -hmm. it does ten, you make five. If it does mm -hmm. thirty, and they can, you'd make fifteen. Yeah, and That's if you look at the averages of say strategy. the S and P. Yeah. You're probably, if the average of the S&P over the last, say, 20 years is 9%, right? 8%, or heck, even 11. And it's a 50% participation. You're probably not going to average over 5.5%. Right. But I think where you're going at is with some of these uncapped strategies, you know, you want to be reasonable with regards to, to managing the expectation of your client, but but it could, be, it could be greater, right? It can be, yeah. Some of these indexes' performance can be well into the double digits. And then, you know, we see participation rates well into the triple digits. It's not uncommon to have a 100, 125% participation rate. Now there's a number of products out there typically where you're buying up the rate. We can have participation rates in the 200% range. Okay, but isn't that, I'm playing devil's advocate here, isn't that just smoke and mirrors? I mean, isn't that just, you know, manipulating the numbers to put something out there that sounds amazing, but the consumer winds up getting the same old, you know, 6%. Or five and a half percent. Not really. If you look at the back tested historical performance of these new indexes that are out there, they they provide the kind of returns that we're talking about. They can provide double digit numbers. And 
the carriers, everybody that's involved in this equation is comfortable offering the participation rates that they're offering. Mm -hmm. And they're guaranteed, you know, if, you, if they're telling you that you're guaranteed to get a 200% participation rate on an index and the index does 10, you're guaranteed to get 20. So, so are you in today's market, are there products out there where you can get both an uncapped strategy with a triple digit participation rate? Yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're basically, they're, they're one, they're, they are, that's one, that's what they are. Instead of a cap, you're getting a participation rate. And then if you get a significant level of performance, you're participating wow. at a grand scale. All right. So, um, any, any we've mentioned a couple of things here, right? The uncapped strategies. Um, extremely large participation rates are, uh, in the growth world. Are there other things that we need to bring up in this video? Well, there's a, a couple of different options. So some of the newest things in the growth world right now are one is buying up a higher rate. Okay. So, you know, the carrier might offer 120% participation rate, let's say without any fee, but for a fee, you might be able to get that up to something higher, 175, maybe 200. And those fees before we move forward might be what? What do you look at? Oh, one and a half percent a year, something okay. like that. You know, one to one and a half, one and a quarter, maybe somewhere in that range. Okay. It's not an uncommon annual fee. All right. And then what else? So um, the buy up rates are important. Um, and then some of the living benefits that are available on uh, in on annuities these days. Uh, access to your money in the event of terminal illness, uh, uh, nursing home confinement, okay. uh, maybe even just missing aid activities of daily living. Okay. Uh, so an, an enhanced liquidity typically is the way that happens on the, on the accumulation market. It's not like a, an increased income, but it might be a complete waiver of surrender charges if you're missing two of six activities mm -hmm. of daily living. So the living benefits can be very important, you know, access to the money while they're alive. Okay. So, you know, this video, by the way, Tim, is fast approaching the end. We're reaching our time limit. And if you're watching this video, you might be waiting with bated breath for us to mention the carriers that have some of these hot new strategies that can help your clients generate significant returns on their money. But unfortunately, we're not going to give it to you. <laughs> what I'm going to suggest is that if you want to find out what some of these products are, who the carriers are that are offering these products, or more importantly, if you've got a specific case, you need to contact Tim Luby. So Tim, how can the viewers uh, get a hold of you? Um, it's it's pretty easy. They can. Uh, my email is timl at gordonmarketing.com, T-I-M-L as in Luby, at gordonmarketing.com, uh, or I'm an extension 213, 213 at the toll-free number for Gordon Marketing. And there are some outstanding opportunities out there uh, for double or even triple your value in 10 years on an illustrated basis. So call me to find right. out more about it. Excellent. Very good. Uh, but with that, we need to call this episode of Selling Life in Annuities to an end. I do want to mention a couple of things. Number one, do me a favor and click subscribe at the, the bottom of this video, as well as the notification bell. So when we roll out new videos on every, on every Tuesday, you'll be sure to hear about it. And also do me a favor, go to Google Play or uh, Spotify and check out our new podcast. We've been putting out content for the last couple of months. It's called This Morning with Life in Annuities. Myself and Brady Doppler are... Um, are uh, investing a lot of time in these podcasts that typically last about 30 minutes and dive a little bit deeper into these subjects. I happen to know that Tim just did one recently and is fantastic. But with that, we're going to say goodbye and happy selling.